Chapter 7, Lesson 3, Triangles. In this lesson, we're going to classify triangles by using angles and sides. So there's three different ways we can label our um, triangles based on the actual angles, and then three different ways we can also name our triangles based on the sides. And I'm sure some of these you've heard before and some of them might be brand new. And then lastly, we're going to write and solve an equation to find the missing angle measure of a triangle. This is much like what we were doing in lesson one and lesson two, but now we're talking about a whole triangle and using that information. So vocabulary, some of these you've heard before because I know we've talked about them. Um, an acute triangle and a, a right triangle and an isosceles triangle. Um, equilateral, obtuse, scaling, um, and then a triangle in general. So we know what a triangle is. These first three listed right here, acute, right, and obtuse, are based on the actual angle. Then when I look at scaling, plus these two over here, the isosceles and equilateral, those are going to be based on the sides of the triangle. So it's possible to have a right isosceles triangle, okay? So what that means is that means that I have a 90 degree angle right here, and that when I look at these, this side and this side are congruent. And that's what these symbols are, where they match up and tell me that they're congruent. They'll line the numbers, the, uh, the sides up and match them up. So for example, if I were to have a rectangle, I could say that this side is the same as that side, and then usually they do like a double bar, that side's the same as that side, okay? This is kind of a no-brainer in that symbol-wise, a triangle symbol, when you're talking about triangle A, B, C, you name it based on its vertices and you put the triangle out front. That's how I know you're talking about the triangle as opposed to if I did angle A, B, C. Very different um, symbolism and very different meanings behind them. All right, here we go. So if you classify triangles, an acute triangle, so this top row is based on angles, and then the bottom row is based on sides. So you have an acute where every angle is smaller than 90, a right angle where you've got one right angle, meaning 90 degrees, and then obtuse where you have one obtuse angle, and then by default, all other ones have to be acute because because all triangles have, oops, wrong thing moving there, because all triangles have 180 degrees um, in a triangle. So 180 degrees in a triangle. Now, it says draw a triangle with one obtuse angle and no congruent sides, then classify the triangle. So start by pausing the podcast and drawing your triangle. So if I've done this, I'm going to start with my obtuse angle, and then it says make sure that we have no congruent sides. So I'm going to kind of stretch it out there, and that's what I'm going to get. So now I'm going to label it based on its angle and its side. So remember, we want to say it's the angle and sides. And my pen did not co connect my letters very well. So if I'm going to do based on its angle and its side, I have an obtuse scalene triangle because it is obtuse angle scalene meaning none of the sides are the same. All right, now it says classify the triangle on the house by its uh, angles and by its sides. So right here, we can see it, our roof triangle, okay? I see no marking to indicate that it's a right angle, even though it looks like it could possibly be. And that's something we have to remember is that if it doesn't have the markings, it's not true. So based on its 
angles. What, well, let's backtrack. Why don't you pause the podcast, try this on your own, and then come back and check. So if I look at my angles, I'm going to say it's an acute triangle because they all are less than um, 90 degrees. And that it's going to be, because I've got two sides the same, it's going to be an isosceles. So again, that's the acute isosceles triangle. So on this one, it says find the measure of angle uh, angle Z. So angle Z is right here. So that's that small measure there. So now I know that I have 180 degrees total in my triangle. And so to do that, I have 119 plus 43 plus my Z. So in this case, I can combine them together. So 119 plus 43, 9 and 3 is 12. Carry my 1, 4, 5, 6. So 162. So 180 equals 162 plus Z. So to solve this, remember I'm going to subtract 162 from both sides. 10, 8, 7. I end up with um, 18 degrees equals my Z. So what I'm saying is right in here, this little piece there is 18 degrees. Now, I want you to look at this. It says the Alabama flag um, is shown. What is the missing measure in the triangle? So when I look at this triangle right here, I have one angle being 110, one being 35, and I want to know what this X is. So I want you to pause the podcast and try and solve it on your own. Well, in order to solve it, you should have looked at it and said 110 plus 35 plus X gives me 180. So then I can combine 110 and 35, and I get 145 degrees plus X is 180. So I'm going to subtract 145 from both sides, and I get X equals 5. 35. So what I see is that that is also 35 degrees. So if I were to classify it based on um, my angles, I would have an um, obtuse triangle and then with two um, angles being the exact same. And later on in other algebra classes, you will be able to figure out why I can say the next statement. And the next statement is that I also know that um, this side is going to be the same as that side. And there's a whole bunch of um, geometry involved in that that I think you get into in eighth grade and a little bit into algebra. Um, we're not going to cover that right now, but what you can do is see that it is 35 degrees. Make sure you ask if you have any questions because we're going to have a quiz on this coming up shortly.